This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Puzzle 19. Expressions as indexes using variables. We can use any expression that evaluates to a number that returns a number that is going to equal a number as an index in our array. Here are some examples. Yeah, so this would get whatever is at index 5. This would get, well, it depends what the random number is. And if x were to equal 2, this would get whatever's at index 4, for example. Do this. Starter code has been provided for you, which creates an array of colors. Write code that logs a random color from the list to the council by generating a value for the random index. Try to write your program using list.length. Ah, challenge accepted. So, we want to use council log. And then we want to use list.length, but first we want to write something here. So we're going to write, uh, I'm just going to write the word, oops, it's a string, so I need quotes, color, and then, oop, I'm going to just have it look nice, and then a we're going to, what color are we going to write? Well, it's going to be a colors, and then in brackets, what part of the array are we going to grab? Uh, we need to grab a random number from 0 to, and what they suggest I'm going to do, uh, list.length, so colors.length minus 1. And then end our bracket. Oh, I did a curly bracket. Okay, so what this whole big mess should do is, well, it's going to output the word colors plus, and then I say, hey, look at the array colors and give me a random number. How many indexes are there? I don't know. I don't count. I, well, I do. That goes up to seven, right? Six, six. Yeah. So it would go up to six indexes. What? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I do a zero number, right? Random number between zero and colors dot length minus one. So it goes up to six indexes, but the length is seven, which is, I say minus one. So I'll get a number between zero and six now. Let's see. But uh green, yellow, indigo. <laughs> cool. And is that? Yep. Great. Let's keep going. Arrays are going to be really useful uh, in what we build later on.